Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan and this is Work From Home Tips for Monday, March 23rd, 2020. So I hope everyone had a good week last week. Things are just kind of getting started with the whole work from home thing and it's gonna be here for a long time. Um, so a lot of us have a lot to learn and a lot of ways we can grow. I am definitely one of those people and to that end I'm trying some new things today. I'm gonna to try a little bit of a new format here. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about today was a uh, quote of the day. Connection is like having the right nutrient. Many times you don't realize you've missed it until you have it again. Um, I put this up because uh, a lot of us are going to be working from home and we're going to actually realize that we're not getting all of our needs met in various ways, whether it's social connection and loneliness or keeping our house clean or cleaning the kitchen. Um, it's really easy to get zoned in on your work, on something specific, and lose sight of the broader picture. So my invitation to you is to take a little bit of time for yourself, um, take time to reflect, and we'll talk about that in just a minute, little bit here. Uh, I want to talk again about opportunity. This is a this is a big crisis and a huge change, and it's really disruptive. It's getting it's hitting people emotionally. It's hitting people in their pocketbooks, and it's also a great opportunity for us to try new things. Um, thing everything is really disrupted right now, and while some people would say, keep doing what's been working and bring that forward to create a minimum amount of disruption. I want to invite you to try something different right now, like right now before you get stuck in new ways of working that uh, become habit, try something new and if possible, create a bias for change in your life in general. Um, so we'll talk about more about that in a sec. Uh, a great thing that you can do right now is in your workplace is to be an example. What do I mean, what do I mean by be an example? Um, say something stupid. It's okay to not be right all the time and no one else, no one really is. The, the more you try to be right and, and, and show a good face all the time, the more you're going to cut off the possibility for new interactions or discovering something new. And it also prevents people from seeing you as human. The more human you can be, the better right now because we're all talking to computers and cameras all day. And so this is an opportunity for you to set an example for others by just saying something a little silly that's just like, a, like you might not normally say, and show people that it's okay. You're being an example for what it's like to just, just be a human being and be a little sloppy and messy. Um, my video is not perfect today. You know, I'm just giving this a shot. I'm just gonna be, and I, I could sit here and edit it all day, but that's not what's gonna make me most effective. Uh, communicate and let yourself make mistakes and show people that it's okay to just be a little stupid. Nothing's gonna happen bad. Also, don't try to be perfect. Um, this is what we just talked about. Um, you know, there's an opportunity for us to really zone in and just spend all of our time getting all the details just right, not wanting to put a bad uh, put put things in a bad bad light or um, have people think that we're not great at our jobs. Um, I would invite you to trust yourself, trust others, and don't try to be perfect. Just get the work done as well as it needs to do, as well as you need to do to get it onto the next step. And this video is a great example of that. Um, also, tell others what you're doing differently. Um, what I mean by this is that this isn't just a time for us to sit at home and work and try to get our work done. This is a time for us to communicate about how we're working differently and what's working and what's not. And um, take that little bit of extra time to have a little bit of a meta conversation. You know, you know today I had a hard time. You know, in the shower. Not hard time in the shower. It sounds really bad. Um, you know, today I had a hard time getting going and, you know, I, I didn't, I skipped my shower and now I feel all gross and, you know, whatever it is, let that, let that stuff come out and share it. And ideally create a space where you can share it, like in a, in a weekly reflection meeting or something like that. Um, also, another thing you can do is to start thinking about being your own coach, be your own teacher. Um, have, a, have an awareness of how you're working have an awareness of what you're doing for your health, and um, take this opportunity to put aside a little time and think about how your life could be better. What can I do to take better care of myself this week? If you have kids, you probably think about this kind of thing all the time. Be your own parent to some extent. Be your own coach. Um, you can put post-it notes on your monitor that give you something to work, on, work, for towards, uh, work towards this week. I've got a lot of post-it notes out right now. Um, but if you can't seek a coach, 
be your own coach. And this also goes back to being an example for others. It really helps other people um, see how they can orient towards being their own coach. Um, something, a technique from a, a man named Brendan, Brendan Bruchard, who wrote a book called High Performance Habits, which is a great book if you'd like to read it. Um, Brendan talks about how high performers talk to themselves. So it's okay to like take a second and say something to yourself or throughout the day just notice that you're talking to yourself. This, is, this might sound like a remedial thing. This is actually an attribute of very high performers is that they're continually talking to themselves in their heads and coaching themselves throughout their day. So talk to yourself. Also, think about how you work. We talk, talked about this a little bit uh, when we talked about uh, saying what you're doing differently, but try to get meta on your situation. You're, you're sitting in, your, in this room, you're sitting in your office, you're working, and don't just get in the minutia and crank away. Reflect on how, how you're working. How are you prioritizing? What systems do you have around you to support you? Create systems um, and processes that will support you so you don't have to uh, be heroic in how you, how you do your work. Create systems and think about how you're working. There are lots of techniques out there, and we'll touch on one in just a sec. Um, something you can do this week that's concrete is make a note to remind yourself of how you're working, of your need for social connection, um, how, how you want things to be different a week from now. Take a, take a post-it note and put it on your monitor. Also, recognize your humanity. Um, when you're talking to a good coach, they'll, they'll hold you to a high standard and they'll also recognize that you're a person. You know, you're not perfect. There's always gonna be more work than you can possibly do and you'll always feel like you're not good enough. That's normal. Um, so it's your job to recognize your own humanity and have compassion and empathy for yourself. And if you do any of these things, please let me know how it went. Um, I'm really curious uh, how things are going for people out there. And I don't get to communicate with any of you unless you reach out to me. So let me know how it went. And if any of these tips work for you, I would love to have you on the show and interview you. Um, the more we can do to foster communication amongst each other, the better. Uh, to that end, I'm also doing an event on Friday mornings at 9 a.m. Central. And I'll talk about that more in a little bit. Also, take some time to reflect. So before diving in for the day, reflect on how, how do you want today to go? Not just with work, but you know, how do you want to feel at the end of the day? How did it go yesterday? Did you work too hard? Do you need to give yourself more time and space? Or did you not get enough done and you need to hunker down a little more? Um, what can you do to make that happen? You know, did you have music on? D do you need to consciously make a note to yourself to like close your door and get a glass of water and put music on before you start working? Reflect on changes you can make. Now, another thing you can do is uh, schedule a weekly reflection with your team. This is something that I love to do, and it's, it's what in Agile we call a retrospective, but you can just do it for the team itself, for any team. Um, schedule, uh, schedule 45 minutes on the calendar, even a half hour, call it weekly reflection, and invite everyone to come, and then just do a round and call on each person and ask them, in the past week, uh, what worked, what didn't, and what would you like to see changed? Um, and if, when you do that, try to avoid having too much discussion. Make sure that everybody gets to say their piece, and then you can do discussion afterwards. There's definitely a risk of uh, conversations running away and being dominated if somebody's not facilitating strongly, so be a strong facilitator. Uh, we also talked a little bit about um, structuring systems and thinking in terms of structures, processes. The more you can create systems and processes for yourself, the less you'll have to constantly be managing yourself and managing your work. So uh, one thing you can do is the Pomodoro technique where you work for 25 minutes, take a five minute break, work for 25 minutes, take a five minute break, and use a timer to do that. Um, work from a backlog, make a list of what you need to do, and stack rank it, most important on top. Um, but think in terms of structures, and then use those structures to support yourself. Um, we're, there's the, the amount of work that's, that we have to do these days, it, 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 there's too much, and it's too complex. So create structures and systems that will support you in that. Also, invest in making changes. Slow down a little bit. Take the time to spend 20 minutes you know, thinking about the week at the beginning of each week and um, look at some new skill or new technique you want to try. This week I'm going to try Pomodoro technique. Or next week I'm going to try um, doing uh, GTD stuff or 
whatever it may be. Um, take the time to slow down and start investing in your processes. If you're a team leader, invest in slowing down the team and increasing its capacity. Please don't get stuck in this idea that we have so much work to do, we can't possibly do it. Everyone just work as hard as you can. This is the perfect time to just, everything's slowing down. All deliverables are slowing down. So take a little bit of extra time and start building that capacity. Get a coach, have someone on your team spend a, a fifth of their week, um, maybe that's too much, but ha have, them, have them invest in helping coach your team and create some spaces and structures so you can, go, so you can start to build capacity on an ongoing basis. Um, don't forget about your own training and development and the training and development of your team and actually make it a conscious thing. And if you're a leader, um, make that clear. Make it clear that it's important that we get better at this now. It's not just about working harder. It's about getting better as a team, a distributed team, and being able to take on more authority individually, more responsibility. Um, and there's an element to this that's creative. This is a chance for you to be creative in how you express yourself in your work, in the world, uh, and to grow your own capacity. A year from now, I would hate for you to be just sitting at your desk, working as hard as you can, just like you are today. Um, so see what you can do to invest in making changes for the better. And then I threw in, uh, if you want an advanced technique for, ma for pro maximizing productivity, uh, there's a thing called the GTD Weekly Review and the whole GTD getting things done process. There's plenty on the internet about this that you can learn about. GTD is a way of um, uh, slicing and dicing your, all the stuff in your life into projects and actions. Uh, and we won't go into it here, but um, people who do the GTD Weekly Review have a much firmer grasp on their world. The, the tagline for GTD is stress-free productivity. And David Allen, the inventor, says that it's possible to have everything in your life uh, under control and to be able to take new things that come at you and do so uh, effortlessly and elegantly. You can think of it like, a, like, like learning a martial art, like a karate, a karate master um, can take a punch and he can move and adapt to it. That's what uh, a good GD, GTD practice and generally having strong systems and processes in your life can let you do for your productivity. So that's it for today. Um, I want to know what are the challenges that you're facing? Uh, you can reach out to me by email or chat. I'll put my info up here in a second. I'm also going to throw up a uh, quiz on the video right here. Not a quiz, I'm sorry, a survey. Um, and just let me know, are your challenges personal or professional, family related? Uh, and we'll try to get some more feedback going with, um, with more polls in the YouTube videos. So get in touch with me. Uh, you can reach me at any time. Just go to teal.dog slash chat, and a box will pop up, and you can chat to me right there. Also, um, you can email me at j at teal.dog. And uh, just as I have been, I'm doing free consultations for teams of five and up. Uh, we, can, we can spend an hour together. I'll tell you uh, anything you want to know about any of the work I've been doing with distributed management, holacracy, processes, agile, um, my, my intention is to spend enough time with enough people uh, to improve their lives, and then some of those will convert into a paying consultation for me. But my, my real goal here and my intention is to improve the way people are working and, and reduce their suffering. So please take advantage, uh, get in touch, jteal.dog or teal.dog slash chat. And one more thought, um, this Friday and every Friday going forward for until I stop, we're doing a weekly reflection call at 9 a.m. Central Time. Um, and this is a chance for each person on the call to share uh, how the past week went for them and any challenges they had. And then we'll do a little bit of uh, sharing about that afterwards. Um, now, don't just come to this if you're stuck and having challenges. If things are working great, if you have the time, stop in and share what's working for you. This is not a, w a place for me as, a, as, an, as an expert to, to download to you the answers. I want to create a space for us to, to share our challenges and, and our successes. And the real thing that makes this work is the people that come and share themselves and share their, their challenges, their successes, what's working, what's not working. Um, so if you have time on Friday morning, it's a great way to start the day. Uh, there's going to be a link to a, a Google meeting invite. It's going to be a Zoom call. Uh, if you can only make it for a few minutes, you know, drop in. There's no expectations. 
uh, the call will uh, the call will be recorded, but it won't be published without the explicit permission of everyone there. And actually, I probably won't publish any of it unless there's some real gem in there. Um, so please come on down. Uh, come on down Friday morning, 9 a.m. Central, 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern, for a weekly reflection call. And you can also come to this and see how it goes, and then use this pattern to do your own weekly reflections on your own teams. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for uh, watching and stay tuned for more. Uh, please remember to respect your humanity and uh, be messy, don't be perfect. Um, it's my wish that you are happy and effective and I'll see you another time.